let's look at how perimeter area would apply to irregular figures that are sometimes called an L or a U shape. Now the L shape is actually going to be a hexagon. Let's go ahead and draw one in. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we'll draw a U shape, which is actually going to be an octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, I don't want you to worry about the names of those shapes. I want you to look at them and notice something. I'm going to draw this in. If I were to come in here and fill in this gap, you'll see that we're left with a rectangle shape. And I can do the same thing over here. And once again, I have a rectangle shape. So we have a couple of options for finding the area of these. Now, before we talk about that, though, let's talk about perimeter. So perimeter is exactly the thing. Same thing we talked about in the past. We're looking for the rim, the outer edge. So you're simply going to add all the sides. In this case, you're going to add six sides. And on this figure, we're going to add eight sides. Now, we don't have any values assigned here. But if you did, you could add those in. So that's perimeter. Now, area is going to be a little bit more tricky. We cannot just do length times width. The same formula that we use for rectangles does not apply for these type of figures. However, we can get a little tricky here. And let's say we were going to find the area of this entire figure. So if I take this side here times this side here, that would then give me this entire shape. This outer edge here along with the red. Now that's fine, except this really isn't part of this figure. So I'm just going to kind of keep that in mind that I really don't want this section here. But if I find the area, Of this whole figure then I'm going to have that. I'm going to need to take that back out. So let's assign some numbers here and give this some meaning. So if this is 4, this is 5, this would be 1, Actually, that would need to be four. We'll just delete that. Okay. And then this would be three. This would be one. All right. So we have all the information we need to find the perimeter. We just add up all of these sides. But we don't have the area quite yet. So let's go ahead and find the area for this entire side. 5 times 4. Equals 20. It's going to be square units. Okay, but like I said before, that's going to include all of this area, which we do want, but also this, which we don't. So we're going to need to figure out a way to take that out. Now, if you see, what we have here is a rectangle, and we have the dimensions of that rectangle, 3 by 4. So we can then find that area. Three times four equals twelve. I'm going to do another color so we can see here. This is 
going to be 12 square units. This is going to be 20 total, but we want to take away that 12. And whatever's left over is going to give us this. So 20 minus 12 is going to give us 8 square units. Just so we're clear, this section here, the 20, this is the whole. And this is going this 12 down here is going to be the section we want to remove. So that's why we did 20 minus 12 down the difference. And this is going to be our area. We can apply the same principle here. Um, let's assign some values and give us a try. So now that we know about opposite sides, you can still apply that even though this is not technically a rectangle. This is 2. If I were to move that side up here, this would be 2 as well because opposite sides are congruent. And this is 2, so this side would have to be 6. Okay, we'll assign this as 5. And we'll assign this as 3. So because we know opposite sides are congruent, if this is 3, this must also be 3. Okay. So we have a couple different options here. We can do something very similar to what we did over here. We can go at this knowing we don't want this section. So we can do 6 times 5 is going to give us 30 square units. And then subtract this portion out. Or we could do something a little bit different. So here's another option we could do. I could take this shape, this figure, this U-shaped figure, and I could split it up into pieces. So if I kind of pretend like I'm cutting down this dotted line. I'm going to cut right here as well. Then I end up with three rectangles that I do want and one that I don't. So I'm going to ignore that one that I don't want and I'm going to focus on these two. Now the first thing I'm going to notice is that these are symmetrical. Okay, This is a symmetrical shape. It's not always that case but uh, it is with this one. Um, and the width is 2, the length is going to be 5. I know that because of this side. So 2 times 5 is going to give us an answer of 10 square units. I'm just going to put U instead of writing out the word. I'm going to do the same thing over here. 2 times 5 it's going to give me another 10 square units and then this little section here so I know this whole side here is 5 and this part is 3 then this must be 2 so this is actually a square down here 2 times 2 would give me Four square units. So now I've found the area of each section. Now I need to put it all together. So 10 plus 10 plus 4 is going to give me a total of 24 square units. Now I could have applied the same strategy to the problem over here. I could have cut right down this line if I wanted to. 1 times 4 is 4 square units. 1 times 4 is 4 square units. 4 plus 4 is going to give me my 8. So I'm going to end up with the same answer. Either strategy works. I would just pick whatever makes the most sense to you or what makes the most sense in that problem.